Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Down on the bayou today, LSU and Tulane getting set to square off these two in-state rivals looking for bragging rights in the state of Louisiana and also hoping to claim the Tiger Rag. Thanks for checking out the pregame show, NCAA College Football Action, coming up next with Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I will see you at halftime. Kickers got the ball set up, and we're ready to get this thing started. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. LSU's coaching staff so confident they know they've got a guy that's one of the best running backs in the country and that they can just play their game and not worry about the fact they're on the road. Well, Brad, his big playability not only can give you big chunks of yards on the road, but more importantly, it can quiet this atmosphere and allow the quarterback in this offense to just getting back and, and just being able to run and be able to communicate. And I think that's a big challenge for this team. So look for his big playability to maybe even out the atmosphere and give this offense a chance to be able to execute. From their own 28-yard line, second down. Tackles. Mitchell's the kind of guy that's work ethic really pays off. Right now, he's playing some special football and leading the conference statistically. First and ten. Ball on their own 41. So the quarterback keeps it on the option, but he'll lose a yard. They'll spread the field with five wide. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. I mean, he has his wide receiver wide open. You spend all those hours during the week to be able to get prepped and ready to go. You got an open man like this, just step and deliver and make the throw. Got it, but he's gonna lose yards here. Loss of a yard. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. to punt and he's tackled at the 35 he showed a good burst there the quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive Can get it, it bounces out of bounds. 
The ball just kept scooting all over the place on the sideline, and it finally skipped out of bounds before anybody could claim it. Second down and seven. Ball on the 38-yard line. They come out in a five-wide set. And he throws it away. They shut that drive down pretty emphatically. That's something to build on. That'll bring up fourth and five. Jordan awaits the snap. He dropped it. He's tackled at the 38. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Irby gets it on the counter. He's taken down at around the 48-yard line. If you can consistently run effectively like this, it'll force the defense to pay more attention to the run, and that creates chances in the play-action passing game. We've got a first and 10. Ball on their own 48. He fights forward to about the 49. Three-yard gain by the running back. That'll make it second and seven. Tackles him hard. The 39-yard line. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. From the 39-yard line, first down. Nice run up the middle. Game of six yards. That'll make it second and four. And now he pitches it. Brought down at about the 19-yard line. That's a team 14 yards on the play. First down. From the 19-yard line, it's first down. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. That brings up second and one. The seven yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That makes it first and goal. And this play is number eight on the drive. play call. They look like they practiced that one a few times. And he converts the extra point. An eight-play, 62-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Boy, this offense right now is just being physical. It's really controlling the line of scrimmage, and it's opening up some nice big lanes for the running backs. So the score now, 7-0. From his own goal line, 
He gets out to about the 25-yard line. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. They'll bring him down at about the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. We played one. The Tigers lead 7-0. And we're back for more action here in quarter number two. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Well, the Tigers had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Young was the intended target. That'll make it fourth down, and they're going to have to punt. On third down, the defense was expecting the pass, and they defended the play very well in the secondary. Mitchell will be the return man. He's at midfield, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. With one quarter down, I really haven't seen too much separation between these two squads. Might be neck and neck the whole way. LSU is up a score. Gets to about the 47-yard line. That's got to be very frustrating for that running back. This offense is trying to get in sync and trying to get a rhythm established. And for such a negative play to happen, loss of yards, that can really have a negative impact on the offense and what they're trying to do. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guys' hands. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Steps out of bounds at about the 43-yard line. Rust picks up about four yards with a catch. Ross awaiting the return. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Here we go. Quick strike to the receiver. So the quarterback completes the slant pattern for about a nine-yard gain. yardage situation here. It's second down and one. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop around the 46-yard line. You know, I talked to so many college quarterbacks who have gone on to be very successful in the NFL, and they all talk about the execution of the play action. And all of them talk about the good ones, about taking their time and really working to sell the play action and sell the fake. If you don't take the time as a quarterback to really sell the fake, it's going to make it easy on the linebackers and safeties to realize that that was just a fake handoff and to get back in position. But when you really work it and sell it the way that quarterback did right there, that's when it's more effective. It can open up the big play. The D lineman wasn't letting anyone buy him that time. And the big fella did a heck of a job plugging up the hole where that play was supposed to go. From their own 42-yard line, it's second down. He 
He rifles it. to go long and does. Incomplete. Almost picked off. Smith intended to see on the play. That'll make it 4 and 14. Jordan is waiting for the snap. Got the corner. He's taken down at the 34-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. LSU is up seven. He's at midfield. He's tackled at the 44-yard line. From the 44-yard line, first down. Grabs it and hammered right there. Nothing going on that play. Well, here I think the quarterback needs to be a little bit more patient in the pocket. That way he can allow his receivers to get downfield a little bit before he throws it. Complete. It's the junior. Tackle made at the 29. That's good for a game of 14 yards. First down. First and 10. Ball on the 29-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. The Tigers use their second timeout. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He gets out to about the eight. That makes it first and goal. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. LSU is up by a touchdown. Touchdown, Tigers! And once again, he finds the end zone. That's his second rushing touchdown of the game. He's run the ball very well, and he's going to see a lot more carries before this one's over. He's really helped carry the offense so far today. And he hits the PAT. A seven-play, 65-yard drive, and that's good for a touchdown. Brad, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. The score now, 14-0. Brown has it at the five, and he's taken down at the 32-yard line. They're ready to begin another drive. There are five wide receivers split out. The quarterback in the gun. gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 32. Pulls it in and he's in the open field. 
And down he goes, right around the 42-yard line. And that was a really well-played series by the defense. The defense decided to go conservative, sitting back in cover three. They wanted to make sure the receiver was not going to get open past the first down line on that play. Mitchell fields it at the 24, brought down at the 37. LSU's done what they had to do offensively. They've done a nice job here in the first half, Arvin. Boy, it's been very consistent for them, and consequently, they have a nice lead here going into halftime. But again, they've got to be able to do a nice job here of continuing to fight because this offense that they're facing across the line of scrimmage on the other side of the ball, they can score in a hurry. So it's still a lot of football to be played. Quick throw to the tight end, and he's taken down around the 43-yard line. That'll make it second and four. Throws complete, he's got space to work. Excellent open field tackle. That makes it first and ten. And he stops the clock with a spike. That makes it second and ten. ten. Second down, ten yards to go. Ball in the 35. Going for it all to the end zone. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. You know, Brad, the defensive coordinator does a nice job with the coverage call here. Everybody's in position to be able to make the play. The only problem is they didn't intercept the football. That's something that uh, they got to be happy with the coverage, but not happy with the result. Deep pass to the end zone, and he will score. Great effort by the wide receiver. And not to take anything away from the quarterback, but the wide receiver made this play. And he adds the extra point. A five-play, 63-yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Brett, I thought the key to that drive really had a lot to do with the quarterback and the receivers getting in sync, making it very tough for the defense to slow them down. So our score, 21-0. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he's tackled at the 27-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. And they get nice yardage on that run. Tulane just took their first time out. It's second and five here. Ball on the 32. He's taken down at the 36-yard line. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the issue out there. I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game, but you can't get it all back at once. You've got to be patient, take your time, and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game. It's first and 10. Ball on the 36. And we'll probably see how far he can throw it as it should be the last play before the half. Once and all, going deep. Almost picked off. Mitchell intended to see on the play. That makes it second and ten. Man left, man left. Three down, three down. Three down, three down. Red hot, red 18. Red 18. He's going to air it long. And he's hit before he can go anywhere. We played a half of football. LSU leads it 21 0.
Hi, everybody. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Bruce Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Both quarterbacks remaining upright and healthy. In fact, they haven't been breathed on in the first half. Neither team has allowed a sack, and it really speaks well for the relationship that the quarterback has and the feel that he has for his offensive line. No, absolutely, and we always talk about those guys and going out to eat. Well, let me tell you something. They're earning a big, fat steak dinner, and those fat guys get the porterhouses too. They're not a cheap date. Those guys, they're earning it right now, keeping me up and right, keeping the court keeping the quarterback upright, keeping him clean, you know, not letting anybody hit him. You've seen you've seen great Hall of Fame quarterbacks turn average when they get popped and when they get hit and when they get, you know, beat around a little bit. These guys, they haven't even been touched. So you can you can uh, go ahead and say check please right over here cuz that QB better be taken care of. And the quarterback's calling home, "Mom, Dad, please send money." I can only hope that Nestler and Herb Street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that David and I have brought to the halftime show. Of course, they always do. That's it for us here in the studio. Time to get you back out to the guys for the second half. Welcome back, everybody. Second half action about to begin. Down back to the it's fielded at the two. Tackle at the 20 yard line. The Tigers continue to get it done on the defensive side of the football, Kirk. Yeah, they've done a good job of building this lead and almost determined here to protect it. Let's see if they can hold on here for the rest of the way. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Decent run here, right side. So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Throws, and it's incomplete. This is a well-designed play by the offensive coordinator. Everything really seemed to be working just fine, except for the quarterback. He's got to throw a better football. Quick throw. Tackle at the 41. And that was such a good job of reading the coverage and knowing where his receivers were. Any coach in the country would be thrilled to see that kind of composure, especially on third down. From their own 41 yard line, first down. Tackled right around the 46 yard line. That brings him second and five. Nice run to the left there. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 47. Five wide. Gets it. He's in space. And he tackles him hard at the 44. That'll make it second and seven. it quickly great catch and he's out of bounds this is a great pitch and catch combination and they hook up here for a big time game and this play is number eight on the drive Pitches back, brought down at the 19. Loss is in on the play. That'll bring up second and 11. Hey, 
It's second down and 11 to go. Ball on the 19-yard line. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. They'll bring him down at the 13. Third down. This is the 10th play of this drive. And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. It's up, and it is good. Tulane to kick. Taken from the 10. He's out to the 30. Looking for the corner. Across midfield. He's pushed out of bounds. At the 37-yard line. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. He sails it long. Fires quickly. Touchdown. They looked awesome on that play. A well-thrown football and a great effort to get the ball into the end zone. He makes the PAT. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Foster from the six. They'll bring him down at the 21 yard line. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. From their own 21 yard line. Second down. They come out in an empty backfield. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And he is drilled at the 31. to the receiver, incomplete. Number nine was the intended receiver of the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. And they make the stop at the 42. Second down now, they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Strike to his receiver, no good. That'll make it third and one. Makes the catch and look out. He's tackled at the 40. Boy, when you can rely on your tight end to move the chains, you've got a big time advantage over any defense. This is the eighth play of this drive.
Jackson. It's second and ten. Ball on the 40-yard line. Complete. He's got room. He gets hit out of bounds around the 34-yard line. Here's play number 10 on the drive. Two times, two times. Gets to about the 34-yard line. Picked up a yard of anything on that run. That brings us fourth and three. One quarter to go, and we may be looking at some mop-up duty. LSU's running away with it. Well, folks, we head into the fourth quarter, and this one is a blowout. with room to work and down he goes right around the 26 yard line first first and 10 all on the 26 yard line caught out in the open and he shoved out of bounds at the 21 13th play of the drive coming up. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he's level at the 15. First and 10. Ball on the 15. This is play number 15 of a very impressive drive. And they push him out right around the six yard line. It's third down and this offense is about three feet away from that first down marker. Strike to the receiver, touchdown. He fired it out to his wide receiver, who made the grab and got the score. When this guy's got time to throw, he makes the defense pay. And he converts the extra point. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. The Cavalry's coming. That's a great tackle at the 46-yard line. So the sack makes this a second and long. And he's taken down around the 43-yard line. The defensive end was the victor on that play as he bolted in to tackle him for a loss. And he was able to do that because the interior linemen held their ground, leaving the runner with no options. Less than three minutes in the game. He gets it out to about the 47-yard line. 
fourth down. Browning is going to try to kick this one deep. Let's see if he can get it inside the five. little pooch kick right there and that's why they made the decision to punt the ball right there they wanted to pin this offense deep in their own territory this team really trusts their defense it's a new possession for this offense so what will it hold defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide throws it to the outside and that one's fallen incomplete Always the intended receiver on the play. that makes it second and ten from their own 19 yard line second down He zips it. He's got it with room to run. He's knocked out of bounds at the 47. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. a bullet oh boy almost intercepted you like a team that's ready to defend the pass it takes some preparation to get in the way of a pass like that less than two minutes in the fourth quarter got a man watch out here he's taken down at the 22 10 to go. Ball on the 22-yard line. He's under some heat. He gets rid of this one. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Get hard for a loss. They lose three yards there. Not much going on there. Those kind of plays will not work against this defense. You can be sure of that. It's fourth down, and the offense is getting set to go for it. So the big blow comes from the defense. They come up with the stop of the day, and that'll ice this football game. And they're going to have to give the ball back after going for it on fourth and long. Not much you can do there. you got to go for it and give yourselves a chance. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play. But, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. The defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. We have less than a minute to go. They go right, and he's tackled behind the line. Well, give the defense all the credit here. They had that one snuffed out from the start. It could have been an even bigger loss. From their own 32-yard line, it's second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. That's good for a gain of four yards. That makes it 37. So that's going to do it. Our final score in this one, 28 to 10, Tiger.
As we take a look at the highlights, Kirk, how would you summarize the action in this one? Nothing adds to the pageantry of college football more than a good rivalry. This was a great game that should only add more fuel to the fire for next year's matchup, and boy, was it fun to watch. So that wraps things up for us for EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.